In this short demonstration, I just want to show you how easy it is to create and manage SLAs in the system. So, what is an SLA then? Well, SLA stands for Service Level Agreement, and this is a contract between your organization and your customers for the services you provide to them. SLAs are managed in the account settings in the system. So you can see here below we have a section called Contract and SLA Settings. So I just click on SLAs and here on the right side you find the page where you manage the SLAs. Here you can actually see that we've already created three SLAs. One called Gold, another one called Silver and the third one called Platinum. When you click on an SLA you can see that SLAs are made up of different SLA targets. In this case, we have two SLA targets for this SLA, one called Normal Response and another one called You Did Watcher. Down here below, you can see that we have the SLA targets. And you can have any number of SLA targets and you can combine them for your SLAs. So, as you can see, you can have any number of SLAs in the system. It is also possible to have different SLAs for different customers. This is done by creating contracts for your customers, and on the contract specifying what SLA a certain customer should have. In the example we have here, you can see that we've created a couple of service contracts for our customers. We have one here with the SLA Silver, for the uh, company called CyberConnect. We also have another one with the service level agreement Platinum for the company Acme. In the example you have here, you can also see that the SLA Platinum for Acme covers any product or service that the company has. But for CyberConnect, the SLA Silver only covers the accounting software and the time tracker application in this case. Creating a new SLA is very easy. The only thing you have to do is go back here to the SLA settings and then click on the link Add New SLA. Here we specify the attributes for the SLA, such as setting the title, uh, adding description, and also pointing to the different SLA targets that I want to use for this SLA. In this case, I thought we should create a default SLA, uh, an SLA that would be used by any other customer that don't have a SLA specified for them. So I start by specifying a name. I think default is a good one in this case. I would also specify that this uh, is uh, actually a default one, so I would check this checkbox here. I could add a description. And I would also specify what SLA targets to use. So in this case I think that the due date watcher as well as uh, the normal response time would be good for, for any customer. And then I would click save. I can always go back and check the SLA targets I have to change them or to add new ones. For example I can look here and see uh, the due date watcher that we uh, checked on before. Uh, and in this case you can see that the due date watcher the only thing it does is that it triggers uh, when the due date is one hour from now. That's pretty plain and simple. Also, I can you know see if I have some specific criteria here. Uh, if the you know the uh, SLA target should trigger on specific issue types or certain priorities and so forth. Uh, but in this case, it's just blank here. I also need to specify what should happen when this uh, SLA target triggers. So I do that under the projects and escalations tab. And here you can see that we have all the projects. In this case, I want to specify what should happen uh, for the service desk and customer support project. So what I want to do is just add a new escalation. I click on the add new escalation link and I can basically set up what should happen. I might want to change the owner group or change the status or perhaps increase the priority. Um, I might also want to send out uh, an email notification to someone, such as a specific person or a specific user group. If you want to use uh, SLAs, it's important that you have the correct fields available on your issues to make it work. You can see this by going to the issue field configuration, 
clicking on the project that you want to use SLAs in and then go down here in the list and make sure that you have included the field SLA and the field next breach. If you want to use SLAs for different products uh, or services, you also need to add the service or product field to your issues. Uh, I would also recommend that you use the uh, reported company field or the company field as well. So I just want to quickly show you how this might look uh, in a real project. So let's go to the service desk and customer support project that we have here. Uh, in this case, uh, this is this issue list. This is the current open queue of issues from different customers and end users. Uh, you can see here that we have a couple from, for example, from WePrint, a company. Uh, another one from a company called CyberConnect. So in this case you can see that we have the goal SLA and for WePrint we actually have the default SLA. If we go in here and have a look you can see that the support chat, this issue, uh, the SLA has actually been breached since uh, since a while back. Um, you can also see that we haven't specified a service or product in this case. So this brings us to the end of this demonstration. If you have any questions uh, or feedback for that matter, please let us know by uh, sending us an email. And uh, thank you for your time and have a great day.